Yeah. Your Excellency, maybe you can explain. The basic me. thing is that um, parents should realize that um, communicating life is not the only thing. Communicating yes. faith also is an obligation on their part. Yes. And besides, uh, uh, as Eminence was speaking about uh, zeal in the apostolate, mm -hmm. I think every one of us, the baptized, should realize that he is an apostle. He is being sent. Yes. That is more important. Mm -hmm. You are sent to do something, to be somewhere, to go and preach. But what an example. Right. This awareness of being sent is very important. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you, know, you, you don't feel the urgency. That's right. That's uh, right. You, you are static. And by word and example, you know, yes. I think another temptation oftentimes is, well, my example. And my example is critical and so important. But Paul VI uh, told us that sooner or later, our example needs to be backed up with the words of life. And we need to talk yes, about yes. our faith. Mm -hmm. We need to be conversant about our love for Jesus and our right. love for our church. And we need to believe deep down to our feet that Jesus Christ is the answer for all men and women. If that's the case, then we really are under a holy compulsion to let people know about him. Yeah, I think it's, 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 a, it's a new, uh, it's a new life for Catholics today because we, uh, Two things we don't talk about are religion and politics, you know, <laughs> and then we keep everything else at it. <laughs> and that's sort of the rule. If you want to get along with people, don't talk about religion and politics and everything else. I think this document makes yeah. it very clear. Mm -hmm. Christi Fidelis. Yeah. It's very clear that that's we've got right. to speak about politics, we've got to speak about religion. That's right. That's there's right. no justification of our being Catholics. That's right. Christians. And it's faith is not simply a private mm -hmm. matter. It's a very mm -hmm. private matter, but yes. it's also very public. It and is in any case, the lay person who is in politics, the one who is in the army, the one who is in the police, civil service, the professions, banking, mm -hmm. law, medicine. If he is not a, an apostle of Christ there, mm -hmm. who will be? That's right. He That's becomes right. an apostolic straggler. Yeah. The, the monk cannot come from the monastery in order to go to House of Representatives and say what should be said. Or if abortion bill is being discussed, right. the bishops are not members uh, of the Senate. So if the Christian there does not speak, he is committing a sin of omission. It is as simple as that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If a group of families don't meet other families to see how to live our faith in their situation, mm -hmm. ah, from priests and bishops, they will receive the general doctrine. Right. But as Vatican Council says in uh, paragraph 43 of the church in the world of today, let the layman take on his own distinctive role mm -hmm. or her own. Let there be no divorce between religious duties on one hand and professional or citizen duties on mm -hmm. the other. Religion must make a vital synthesis of both. Otherwise, that religion becomes just a coat which you put on on Sunday morning That's for exactly. one hour. That's exactly where it is. This is where we are today. Because we see this so often in our, um, <clears throat> in our attitude. And um, I think this is where, uh, again, as Keith was saying, our young people can do a lot more. We're just not challenging them enough. We're not really asking our young people to, to become evangelizers and to, to go out and share. And I know uh, this is this apostolic zeal that we can imbue in our, with our young people. Your Eminence, you, you talk about uh, girls and women here. Maybe you can just uh, expand on what you... There are aspects of the apostolate where they would be specialized. Mm -hmm. And where only they can deliver the message. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Matters in particular that touch the family, because the woman is the key to the family in many senses. Mm -hmm. The children depend more on their mother than on, on, on their father, mm -hmm. because the father, by nature of work, is often away. The, in short, the woman is the key mm -hmm. in the family. That's why those who are fighting the family try first to destroy the woman as That's woman. Right. To, to, when the woman is destroyed, the family is finished. It's only mm -hmm. a matter of time. Mm -hmm. And the religion is affected too. That's right. So girls and women are very important in that matter because they are the ones who hand on religion and culture mm -hmm. of a people. If they themselves become culturally and religiously bankrupt, we are all in trouble. That's right. I think that's so important. And that, that really is a strategy of the enemy. Yes. Is, and, and, uh, Kosti Kanubi, yes. Pius XI, prophetically warned about it. Yes. And it's happening. 
There really is an effort to undermine the whole integrity and dignity of the role of a woman and the wonderful call woman has, the special call woman has. And it's all hiding under the guise of um, finding some kind of freedom that isn't yes. freedom at all, but bondage. Yes. And it's really, I, I really believe it's a demonic attack and it's furious. And we need as believers to see that and to rise to the occasion both through spiritual warfare and prayer but also by following the church's teaching. Yes, the church has experience of 2,000 years right. mm -hmm. plus the Holy Spirit. Right, plus the Holy Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> so no modern <coughs> movement is going to discover anything really that the church never heard about. Thank God. Uh -huh. And uh, you know the when the woman is destroyed, her identity, she no longer knows what she is. Mm -hmm. And she is encouraged to fight the wrong issues. Mm. Everything is... We are in trouble. Mm -hmm. I think we'll pick up on that on our next program, Your Eminence. And we do want to thank you for, for joining us. We're now going to break for 60 minutes to uh, pray and sing together as a community. And then to share our spiritual insights on Cardinal Lorenzi's book and also what we've been talking about. And really to break this, this barrier, to start to develop friendships on the spiritual level and really allowing the spiritual life to, to dominate.